Now to a ghost story that brings us to a historic public square in the upstate that's filled with restaurants and shops. Some say ghosts from the past continue to make mischief for the new business owners. Pictures captured the days before cars when carriages filled the public square in downtown Lawrence. The storefronts have changed, but businesses are still operating in these old buildings. So where you're sitting is where the caskets used to be because next door was a mortuary. From caskets to coffee, Peggy Shikola owns the Coffee Roost. She's up early. And if you're on the square, like I am at 540 in the morning, sometimes you hear it. It's eerie. She says the Lawrence area is known for its Cherokee heritage, and she believes that shuffling is an eerie echo of an earlier time. In my humble opinion, it's um, it's ghost dancing. It's a slow shuffling sound meant to welcome in the sun. She says early risers of today didn't get their flavored coffee one morning. We had a, a heavy bookcase and it held 180 bottles of our various syrups. And she believes a ghost is to blame. All of a sudden the shelves broke in the middle of the night. All these bottles busted as they towered down. Boom, 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 boom. And I thought, well, maybe it's just you know, things break, except that Roma's had all of their shelves collapse. We headed to Roma's, an Italian restaurant down the square. This used to be the Wilkes Furniture Building. Restaurant staff told us about a ghost. Uh, every now and then he'll throw our baskets for our bread uh, across the kitchen. You'll just see him fly. Named Billy. I always tell the new employees, always say hi to Billy so that way he doesn't pick on you. They've seen Billy pick on the drinks behind the bar. And it just went up. And it stood straight up, too, just like that. Peggy says not much is known about Billy, but it's believed that he was a dancer. And she says another shelf came down in a clothing boutique, also on the square. Even the screws came out of the wall. They just had all the clothing fall down off all of the racks. How does that happen? Peggy is hosting a ghost walk, sharing more mysteries this month, taking people around the square, including to this spot. Most haunted spaces on the entire square. Where a person who she calls a lady of the night named Ella was killed. But you can feel when you come in here, there's just a sadness in here. Peggy is partnering with the South Carolina Paranormal Research and Investigations Group for the Ghost Walk. The group will offer what they believe are some explanations for ghost behavior. They're just doing what they did in real life when they were alive. They're walking down the street. They're going to their favorite bar. Peggy says while the stories about the square may seem a bit spooky, the ghosts don't seem to want to harm anyone. Instead, she says perhaps they simply want to remind people that the public square in downtown Lawrence is their home too. And the Lawrence Ghost Walk is happening on Friday, October 15th and Saturday, October 16th. You can sign up online. We have posted a link in this story on WYFF4.com.